let's focus on YouTube. And here's what I want to do. We've got some new features with YouTube. We just got, I don't know if your channel has been updated, but let me show you some of the things that I want you to focus on that YouTube has given us. And I want to tell you why they're so important. Let's go. Okay, I've made it to the other side. And I want to start by apologizing because this video was supposed to be made a couple of months ago and I'm just getting around to it. But let's jump right in. With YouTube, the changes that we've seen recently, you may be seeing them for the first time with this video, is regarding comments. So let's talk about that. There are three ways now that you can see comments. Of course, notifications, if you have them set up through Google+. Plus. If I click on the notification symbol, I can see when someone has commented, plus my post, shared my video, which is very, very cool. And those same notifications appear in Gmail as well. So that's really cool. But let's talk about how do you really get to YouTube comments quickly because that's something that YouTube changed recently. So you can either go look at your notifications or go to youtube.com slash comments. Look what happens when we do that. We actually see all of our comments, which is rather cool. And what I really like about this new feature, and I'm also going to tell you what I don't like, but what I do like is that I can automatically give a thumbs up to people that commented on my videos. So easy to do that now, where before I had to go to the video. Now, I also should mention the problem with this is the fact that I cannot reply back. So if someone actually commented here or even here, there's nowhere for me to comment back. The other way you can get to comments is if you go to your video, let's just say you're, you're on your dashboard. I know I'm already there, but I want to show you how this is going to work. You can click on community now. And in community, you can actually see comments, which is rather cool. Let's go back because you have new notifications. If you are relatively new to YouTube, you may not have noticed this before. In fact, under the notifications, there's a free online course. And it looks like that I have a certificate. Oh, I forgot. I gotta celebrate having a thousand subscribers. Oh yeah, pump it up, pump it up, pump it up. I think I should uh, try out for So You Think You Can Dance. <laughs> Slick. At any rate, then it gives you some more information. And in fact, I love the way they tell me what's new. So I can actually come down here and I can see YouTube Capture app is YouTube's latest brag. All right, on to the next tip. Since we're already on our dashboard, let's go down to Creation Tools. And I'm going to give that a click because now I have an audio library. I have to tell you, I was really excited about this. If, in fact, you like to have a little bit of music playing on your video before having this, and I think YouTube was receives tons of requests regarding this, you know, you have to go and buy them. I know one of my favorite sites was Pond5. So now I don't have to go to Pond5. I can actually use the library right here on YouTube and I can select my genre. So you've got all these selections that you can choose. So pick on your selection. And when you come over here, you can actually see the popularity. You can actually mark it as a favorite. You can also come over here and play it. Let's see if we like it. Let's go with Sunday Stroll. Nice. And if you like it, then click on Download Track. Last tip is still under Creation Tools. Let's go to Video Editor. Now they've had this for a while, but what's really cool is I can actually remix a video that I've already created and add things to it. But I can also, from this particular interface, create a video. So I can actually upload a video that I have, or I can select a video from Creative Commons. And of course, I can search Creative Commons videos here because I may want to do a remix here. Creative Commons are videos you have permission to use. Or I may want to select some photos. Let's say I want to do a slideshow. Then I can actually click Add Photos. And what I can do is now select the photos, come over here, add audio to go with it, and publish a video. Very cool. Now, let's just, since we're already here, once you create a video, say you've added your pictures, they give you a couple of transitions you can use in between videos as you like it. 
And of course, if you want to add text, if you want a banner or center title, you can do all that good stuff right here within YouTube, which I think is pretty good. Okay, and the last tip I want to leave you with is Creator Pulse. And in fact, if you go to youtubecreator.blogspot.com, you can check out YouTube's blog on some of their latest product changes, some of their latest services, and just some really cool creative ideas for videos. Come down here, check out the archives, and just stay in the know. Just thought I'd pass these tips along. If you learned something new, give me a thumbs up. Take care and thanks for watching.